Sure. Okay, so Mr. Chairman, I will turn it over to you. Congratulations on your appointment. Thank you so much. First of all, I just like to thank everybody on the new chair to the Police and Public Safety Committee for Community Board 10. Uh, I wanted to thank Barbara, all right, Bellucci, for chairing this in the last two years. She actually did a very good job. And I wanted to thank her, but she's not here tonight. Uh, we have two items on the public session agenda tonight. Uh, they're both for uh, state liquor authority licenses. One is Malone's Chop House, and the other one is Big Five Seafood. So I'd like to start out with, uh, I guess, Big Five Seafood. Well, let's start out with Malone's okay. Chop House. Um, okay. That's actually the order I have it in. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. All right, so the applicant is DRG Chop House Incorporated doing business as Malone's Chop House. You're showing the wrong um, Yep, okay, I'm material. moving to it. Okay, I'm hmm. moving to it. Okay, here we go. Okay, it's loaded at 9517 Third Avenue in Brooklyn uh, between 95th and 96th Street. The owner is Miriam Paz, P-A-Z. The attorney, I don't know if he's present, is Nicholas Mocha, Mokia. He's not, he's not uh, present. He's not present. Okay. And the manager is Greg Fosdell. Did I correct? Yeah. Is that Fosdell? Fosdell. Fosdell. Okay. Should have an I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all my life. All right. So you like? Yeah. This is a new application for liquor. Hours of operation will be Monday through Friday, 11 in the morning to 11 in the evening. Number of seats that you have are listed as 80 with 18 tables. Is that correct? Roughly, yes. As far as any music, you're only going to have background music. Correct? Yes, correct. This is a restaurant. Chris, you probably wanted to mention the weekend hours. Well, the weekend hours are Monday through Saturday. I mean, uh, Monday through Sunday, 11 to 11. Did I say Monday through Friday? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. My apologies. I meant Monday through Sunday. All right, 11 to 11. Thank you. There is no outdoor seating, correct? And you provided us with the uh, seating chart. Yeah. And it's two locations, two, two buildings, really. It, it used to be the old Embers. Yeah. And I was just looking at it, and I have one question for you. On this location, do you need a public assembly? Because it's 80 seats? Because it looks like it's two separate rooms. And I'm not 100% positive, but for public assembly, you need more than 75 or more would require a public assembly from the fire department, you know, Department of Buildings and Fire Department. Are you aware? I believe we have one. Mm -hmm. All right. If you do, can you furnish it? Yes. The, thank you. you. Provided us with the menu. and the certificate of occupancy. And the certificate of occupancy was dated December, 1988. It shows a ground floor as a cellar. The first floor is the uh, store, kitchen, toilets, et cetera, restaurant extension. Uh, also encompassing 95 19 Third Avenue, which is the other building next door. It's part of the CFO and two apartments upstairs. Do any board members have any questions for Mr. Greg? So this, this will be in all the members and the butcher shop next door now as well? Yeah. Okay, okay. thank you. So, um, um, Mr. Paz, are you a new owner? Yes. 
Oh, so you've taken over Embers and expanded to next door? I took over both locations. Okay. And I believe Embers had both locations in the past. From they shop in the front and a, and a dining room in the back. Mm -hmm. so both dining rooms. Does anybody else have any questions? Did, right. we see a, did we see a complete floor plan with the kitchen? Yes. Well, we received it. If you want to bring it up, uh, Josephine, and just show Ruth. Yeah, I don't know if I did the slide. If you want me to pull the whole application up, I can, but it was sent out. Let me see what was on. Um, it was on the application. Yeah. That's I just, it. yeah, right, I just, right here. So there's a back exit also? There's a back exit, yeah. Okay. And there's two front exits. Let's see. And on one side, you have the bar, it looks like. Yeah. Like so a, I'm going to keep the same Nine. as a small bar. Mm -hmm. And several tables, bathroom, kitchen area, prep areas. Any other questions? Uh, yeah, Chris, have a question. this is Sandy Vallis. Uh, is this uh, for a full liquor license? Yes. And uh, the the back uh, the back part of the store, you you're not going to use it as any outdoor uh, nothing or like that, right? Okay, I'm I'm good. Okay. Yeah, on the application, he had no outdoor seating, Sandy. Okay, with the good question. Okay, the way we do this is we usually deny. Greg, can you hear me? Lori, Lori had a question. Oh, I have a question. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't see the hand raised feature. Um, I have two questions. Um, number, is there going to be, first of all, how is the background music delivered? What's your system like? Um, it's just a smaller speakers uh, in the ceiling. Okay. Um, Joe, do we have any, is there going to little teacups or? And, like teacup speakers or what type of speakers? Um, they're about this. <laughs> yeah, they're, <laughs> they're probably be in the corners, or if not, I won't put them in the ceiling. They'll probably be in the corners, but the background is pretty much going to be Pandora or something like that. Or my, or my Spotify list. Okay. Okay. Um, and is it just going to be... Um, you know, basically, do you plan on having any like private events? Do you, you know, anything like that? Uh, yeah, well, party rooms, nothing, nothing like uh, that, if that's what you're asking. Uh, uh, you kind of skipped out. I don't know if everybody else heard it, but I didn't. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a, a, there's a party room in, you know, one of the, the places, like, you know, if I have a, a 50 people or 60 people having a party, but there's going to be no promoting as far as okay. from nothing like that. I'm not into that. Nothing okay, good. So like, like, no, like, you know, DJ dance, whatever. No, no. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> and my other question is um, what kind of work, if any, are you doing to the space? Are you doing renovations? Is the floor plan the way you proposed it going to be or? That place is gutted to the bone. <laughs> okay. So yes, renovations. <laughs> yeah. Some of the pictures he sent us that just showed. Yeah. Got yeah. <laughs> but the floor plan you gave is going to be what will be. The I'm sorry, say that again. The floor plan that you gave, the seating plan. Yeah. On the application, that's it's what a rough, will be. Right. It's a rough draft of what I'm planning to do. Um, it, you know, obviously there's changes at the end, but that's a rough draft of what I'm mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. Any other questions from any of the board members? Judith? Oh, Judy. Judith, you're muted, you're Judith. I see she's waving. Judith, you're muted. Unmute. Can't hear you. <laughs> um, you will there be any uh, takeout or is it strictly, you know, uh, dining in? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't know offhand. I'd love to say yes because it's more rare, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's a different type of food. So if you, yeah, I would say yes. 
I would say yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I have a question. Um, does the location have any prior adverse history? Um, is that look? Oh no, you wouldn't know that, Ms. Yeah, Pons. that that was for me. No, um, no. Was for <laughs> Josephine. Yeah, so we did do public notice. We did check three one ones. There was there's absolutely zero adverse history here. Um, okay. It has not been occupied for some time. We even went back and looked in our logs, and there were no um, community complaints at all. Wonderful. So it's been closed for a while. Yeah. I saw. So you have a good app to follow. Well, I'm just was very good years ago. So the way we usually do this is we deny your application unless you agree to some of the stipulations that we bring forward to you. Okay. And I'll read you the stipulations and you can answer the affirmative if you want, or let me read through them all and see if you want to go yes or no. Okay. All right. So the premise will operate as a restaurant. There will be no sale or consumption. I'll read them all and then you can either say yes or no to anyone you want. There will be no sale or consumption of alcohol on the premises until appropriate license is issued, renewed, or lapsed by the SLA. Bring your own booze is not permitted in New York State. A certificate of occupancy is required uh, or a letter of no objection on hand. So you have the certificate of occupancy. The owner or manager will be on site during all operating hours. The hours of operations will be Monday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. The applicant will not sublet the premise. The doors and windows are to remain closed to coordinate any amplified music. The background recorded or music sound levels will remain below the level permitted by New York City noise code. There will be no outdoor seating, as you already stated. The establishment should not sponsor or use any promoter or have promoted events. There will be no smoking permitted. There will be at least 20% visible view into the establishment at eye level, meaning your glass. The applicant agrees that should it change its method of operation, it will give notice and meet with the community board committee at least 45 days in advance of any such change. You agree? I Thank you, Greg. Uh, Chris, Chris? Yes. Uh, can, can I ask one more question? Yes. Um, the, uh, there's going to be a party room. Now, when, when you're having a party, would you permit uh, like a DJ or any type of music to be at that party or is it just uh, dinner parties? It's dinner parties. Can't fit a DJ. Okay. All right. Yeah. It Party room, what I meant by party room is going to be one of my dining rooms, the dinner party, you know, is, is a, you know, 30, 40, 50 people. That's, mm -hmm. that's okay, thank you. Excuse me, Chris. Yes. Um, Go ahead, Ruth. Yeah, um, the thing came up before that the public assembly notice has to be provided. Yes. Does that go into the stipulations? That thank you very will much. Be provided? Yeah. I'll put it in. Thank you. I'm going to put if the public assembly is needed, it will be provided. Obtained. Obtained. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Laura, you had your hand raised. Or was that from? Yeah. Okay. Um. It said on the stip, I don't know if this was just being colloquial, but it said BYOB is not permitted in New York. But since it's a stipulation, can we just change the language on that, that the applicant, you know, will not, you know, serve, allow BYOB, you know, or serve before a license is obtained? Um, 100%. It's, it's not allowed. Yeah, well, <laughs> I know. It's not really right. It's an implied stipulation anyway, but... Um, and also, um, are we suggesting a step? What did Sandy? Um, I'm not sure what if Sandy was just a question or was that a step for the no DJ, the no DJ? live music? No, that, that? That, that was just a question I had. Okay. Okay. So, no other no other questions. Let's bring this to a vote. 
Okay, so the vote is on the screen, everyone. This is for, for committee members only. Um, if you are voting to support the motion to deny, you are voting in favor. It's not working, Josephine. Oh, Joe, so it lists me as a panelist. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, an attendee. So I'm not a panelist, so I can't click it. Okay, hold on one second. I didn't vote, Josephine. No, no, I know. Oh, you couldn't. Oh, no, I'm, having, I'm having great difficulty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the IT team is off tonight. We don't have an IT team. You are the IT team. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's only a few of us, so I mean. No, I know. We like oh, to okay. the record. Okay, it's working. Can you vote now? Yes. Yay. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Thank you. This is my first time here. Here is this role. Uh, as chair, so am I also a voting person you are not. at this point? Right, no. I just wanted to be clear. Yes. Okay. You're, you're an observer. All right, <laughs> second in. Okay, so it's unanimous. Thank you, everyone. In favor, we vote in favor. In favor, yes. <laughs> unanimous four. <laughs> Lots of good luck. Yes, yeah, good thank luck you. to you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, we want to see you succeed. Right? Hey, what's up, man? No, I don't. Somebody just walked in my my restaurant. Oh, I'm on okay. the phone. Hey. Hey. I don't know. Hey. Well, good luck to, to you. Thank you. Good Thank work. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Right, have a good night. All right. So the next application that we have is for beer, wine, and cider. I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Restaurant Wine for Big Five Seafood Restaurant Incorporated, located at 7109 13th Avenue in Brooklyn, New York, 11228. The owner is Chen Zi Lang. His lawyer is, is Ying Zhu. And the, we have a contact person of Mei Chow as a manager. Who is uh, here representing? Is there anyone representing 7109 13th Avenue? Big Five Seafood Restaurant Incorporated on tonight. Yes, I saw someone on earlier. Yes, yeah, earlier. Yes, so the owner is here, and uh, I think if you have any questions, I'm the representative. Yeah, I'm and, and, yeah. So can, I can ask. I, I can answer questions, or the owner can answer questions too. Okay, and so, who are you? Yeah, the owner. I'm I here. understand you're representing the owner, but who are you? What is your name? My name is Ying Xu, Y-I-N-G-X-U. I'm the uh, representative. Yeah, you're I'm the attorney? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. So you're the attorney for the... Yeah. All right. I just didn't know who you were, you know, because your name is not there. Now I can see who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, so this is for a new license. Yes. It's uh, the first time application. First time application. For, yeah, for wine and beer only. Mm -hmm. And the hours are op of operation are going to be Monday through Sunday, mm -hmm. 11 p.m. till 10.30 in the evening. Yes. Okay. You have a capacity, a certificate of occupancy capacity of 90. Yes. And you it's say that the maximum for... people you will have at one time will be 70. Yeah with eight tables and you have two floors, I see. Yes, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is the first floor under, uh, mm -hmm. they have some tables and on the second floor, they have two VIP rooms. And I also saw you do not have any music at all, no background music No, at all. no, nothing. No speakers in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's strictly an eating establishment. Mm -hmm. okay, The only thing I did not see in your application was a menu. The menu? Did you provide a menu? Oh, there it is. All right, so I just didn't have it in my package. So there is a menu. Um, I, actually, I, I cut this from Yelp. This, this was the menu okay. that was on Yelp. <laughs> so I- Okay, just... now I understand why I didn't have it. Yeah. 
And the certificate of occupancy dated August 29th, 1994 shows it's a commercial premise uh, with the first floor having 52 occupants, eating a drinking establishment with entertainment, but not dancing with a capacity of 200 persons or less. And the second floor has an occupancy of 38, eating or drinking establishment with entertainment, but not with capacity of 200 persons or less. So you're not providing any entertainment on this establishment, am I correct? Yes, sir, yeah. And there's no outdoor dining, am I correct? No, there's no outdoor dining. They don't use any outside area at all. At all, okay. Now you did provide floor plans, all right. Now, I don't know if Lori may be able to answer this. On establishment with two floors, do they need a certificate of, not a certificate, a public assembly, since it's two separate floors? Because I had done one years ago for a parochial school mm -hmm. and I had two separate areas, but I needed two public assemblies. So if it's below the 75 mm -hmm. occupants, I don't believe they need it. Mm -hmm. I think, I'm not sure. I think if it's considered one space, <laughs> but I'm not positive. It's because it's two separate floors. Right. So I'm not positive on that. Yeah, because for this issue, we ask the architect and the architect right. has said because the total is below 70 right now. So no PA is uh, needed right now. Mm-hmm. So you can so you're I see the what you're saying, yeah. <laughs> I understand. You're you can cons, you consulted with the architect, and the architect basically told you that you didn't need a public assembly, mm -hmm. all right? Because yes. it was two separate locations or two separate spaces. Yes. Below the occupancy of seventy-five. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Thank you. I just needed to clarify that. And you also are utilizing the basement for storage and toilets, washrooms. Anything else is being utilized in the basement? No, only storage, nothing. Only storage. Yeah. All right. They have the storage and the two public toilet in basement. Excuse me? They have the storage area in the basement. Correct. And also two public toilet room for the customers. I think I submit the floor plan. This one. You did. Yes, I did. That's yeah. what I was Thank you. Can I ask Before a question? We... Yes, I'm going to open it up now for questions oh. by board member. Thank you, Ruth. You can go first. Uh, I was just wondering, given that the toilets are in the basement, is there a toilet for handicapped accessibility on the main floor? Oh, so for the main floor, they have one unisex toilet because okay. the main floor, the arrow is not big enough. So that's why they provide two extra ones in the basement. So on the main floor, they have one. It's uh, big and uh, unisex. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any other body with questions? Sandy, so I, I, no? I, I have another question. Go ahead, Ruth. In the description for each floor, uh, I thought I heard entertainment mentioned. Oh, nothing. That was on the certificate of occupancy. What? I believe that was on the certificate of occupancy. Mm -hmm. All right, but she is not going to be utilizing any space for entertainment. Oh, okay, 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 thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions from any board member? Okay, go ahead, Lori. Uh, so on the application, I see that the owner, there's no manager um, and the owner does not have any prior experience, um, restaurant experience or anything like that. So I'm a little curious about how this is gonna go. Now, um, he, you know, how this is. Um, he, he, he listed on the application, made Chow, as a manager, as yeah, a the, the, man, man. the manager has, have, well, at, least, at least 18 years, the manager, Chow okay. Mei. So is she going to be on premises or uh, just from the outside? 
in charge. He worked for, I think, in the Manhattan, Manhattan, uh, Manhattan restaurant. He has experience in Manhattan restaurants somewhere. Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Is she going to be actually physically in the restaurant managing it day to day operation? Yeah. Yes. All right. I had a question, but now I forgot. Oh, <laughs> you you are the new owner, correct? You, yeah, you I'm the, the, I, you, you bought this establishment from somebody that has already had the restaurant there. Yeah. Correct. Did they prior have a SLA license, a state liquor authority license? I don't know. Oh, what? I don't think so. I checked online. No. I checked the history and I cannot find any record for the application. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like this is the first time this location is going to have as a restaurant with a state liquor authority license for beer wine. Am I correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. So, like as you saw with I did with uh, Mr. Vidal, Greg, we usually deny the application based on agreeing to our stipulations. All right, so if you agree to our stipulations, we approve. So I'm gonna read some stipulations and see if you approve or not. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the premise is going to operate as a restaurant. Okay. Yes. There will be no sale or consumption of alcohol on the premises until appropriate license is issued. Yes, sure. Okay, there is no bring your own booze or bring your own booze permitted in New York State. In other words, you cannot have alcohol on the premises till you obtain the license and nobody can bring it inside mm -hmm, yes okay the certificate of occupancy be acquired and there a letter of no be, no objection be on hand the owner manager will be on site during operation hours and you already said yes the hours of operation will be monday through sunday 11 in the morning 11 a.m to 10 30 p.m yes yes the applicant will not sublet the premises the doors and windows are to remain closed in coordination with any amplified music. You already told us you're not going to have music. Yes. So there will be no music on the outside of the premises. Background recorded music, sound levels will remain below the level permitted by New York City noise code. Yes. There is no outdoor use. No. Correct? None in the backyard either. No. The establishment will not sponsor or use any promoter or have promoted events. No. There will be no smoking permitted. Yes. Yes, there will no be no smoking. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> there will be at least 20% visible view of the establishment at eye level, meaning in the front glass, we could be able to see inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The applicant agrees that should it change its method of operation, it will give notice and meet with the community board committee at least 45 days in advance of any such change. Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. Any other questions? Lori. Okay. Um, so I just like going through that's like a lot of um, steps to go through. So, mm -hmm. um, but they said they're not having any music. Correct. So if What's they're not on? having, so we have a stip that says the doors stay closed when they have music on and that there'll be no music outside and the music will stay below the code. But if they're not having any music, you would uh, like we'll to see close. <laughs> you would not like to remove it from this, to this application. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It so, really does not apply to this application. Yeah. So maybe like, can we make it like, you know, tailor it and say, uh, I just suggested him throwing it out there because we haven't had a vote uh -huh. yet, but maybe just say um, no music. If they say no music, why don't we say no music? Yeah. Then yeah. <laughs> deletes typing. Extra. Is that okay? Yes. It's not fun typing at all. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Okay. Um, Thank you very the, much, Lori. And, no, and the other, I have another, I'm sorry. I no, have okay. another thing. Um, because they're new and there's never been a liquor license at this location at all, um, mm -hmm. can we ask that um, we be permitted, you know, after they're up and running, they get their license or whatever, and they're operating that, if there's any, you know, we'd be permitted to call them back in that they agree that they'll come in to address any concerns that may arise since this is sort of a new situation, you know, for that location in the neighborhood. Um, 
you know, and, and we can just, you know, so sometimes um, in the past we've put in something that says, you know, applicant agrees to return and meet with the board to address, address any concerns that may arise. All right, do you have a time limit? Um, because it sounds like it's a probationary period. Well, we don't really get to take it back. So I, um, it's really just they're kind of agreeing to- I understand. Yeah, work with us. <laughs> There's no, no probation. Um, but so, um, yeah. How about any and, and I have a question about the subletting stipulation. Mm -hmm. um, that was always something I was confused about because I don't really know how that works. I don't want to extend the meeting unnecessarily, but you have, they have a lease or they're an owner and they have a, I would assume if they're subleasing. Do you guys have a lease? Yeah. You do. Okay. So if the subleasing means they're going to let somebody else you know, in, I don't know how that works with a license. Do you, Joe? Um, and you have a subtenant that comes in and just runs your business. You assign your lease. Isn't if you if you no longer if you if you sublet you know signing your lease do you still have the right to have the liquor license? You know what I'm no, saying? it's not allowed. So not allowed. that's what I thought. Premise, if the premise is sublet to other tenant, yeah, other tenant got their own company and then they should yeah. rent. They have to have their own liquor license. Yeah, they should get their own liquor license. So they cannot borrow the license from the previous tenant. It's not allowed. Right. That's what I thought. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what we meant by subleasing was basically that, mm -hmm. um, you're not, you know, you are going to be the people who are going to manage it and run it. That's what I think the committee meant when they meant sublease. But I don't um, think they allow sublease in this location. Right, right. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm talking to the committee members. Like we okay. yes. use the phrase okay. sublease <laughs> and you're right. That doesn't apply. I think our intent Mm -hmm. was that we were kind of saying we want the owner mm -hmm. and the manager mm -hmm. to be who are on this application to be the ones running it mm -hmm. i think yeah. just throwing it out there Chris. It's, it's no no i agree and then yeah. we we don't want you subleasing your premises because it can bring a whole host of problems into the area okay. any other questions Smiling, Lori. Yeah, still have something yeah. thinking. <laughs> smiling. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. It's okay. No, no, throw it out. I think there's a, a, a subtlety that's lost here. If you have a lease and you sublease to someone else, the SLA doesn't let that someone else use your liquor license. Yes, sure. And I, yeah, so I think, and we had uh, somewhere along the line, mm -hmm. the committee had come up with the phraseology in our steps, no subletting. Mm -hmm. But if you write that on an S on, on, you know, as it's on the liquor license, no subletting, that means mm -hmm. I can't take my lease and sublet to somebody else. To the SLA, they say, mm -hmm. duh, because that's their rule anyway. I think that what the committee meant, mm -hmm. and maybe I'm wrong, we might just want to take it out, but what the committee meant was that we don't want you, mm -hmm. you know, Mr. or Mrs. Applicant mm -hmm. to, say, yeah, I'm the one, here's my name, right? And you come before the committee and you say, this is my experience and this is what I'm gonna do. And we say, oh, what a lovely person. We're very comfortable with this person running the business mm -hmm. and then have someone else do it. It's not a sublease. It's really sort of just a handing over. So mm -hmm. um, I know the question was put forth by the committee, you know, was the owner or the manager going to be on premises? So maybe we could change the step to, you know, the owner or the manager will be on premises. The manager will always be on premise and the owner also. Yeah, you can see owner right now, he's in restaurant, he's in the storage room right now. Mm -hmm. I could see him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on our step, it says the owner or manager will be on site during all hours of operation. Yes, sure, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe let me just take out the sublet version because it is confusing. I see. Any other questions? All right, so let's put it to a vote. All those in favor? 
of the motion to deny <laughs> the vote in the motion to deny yes which is still like confusing to me but yeah. you know, they are, you know, i understand it listen two years of listening to barbara and i understand it <laughs> <laughs> okay well it's unanimous again excellent <laughs> thank you thank you thank you good luck Okay. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I have other things I want to talk about. So, do you want to stop the public session? Um, yeah, we're not. So, we're not live streaming. Okay. Um, no. Right, want I, to adjourn. Oh, do you want me to stop the recording? Yeah. Yeah, if you want, I just want to discuss okay. something. So, first. motion to adjourn. Okay, motion to adjourn. Everybody, we're good. Jack oh, well, you can leave. Thank you very much, Big Five. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.